Kathleen, I was just looking for a reaction today about David Trone announcing in a paid advertisement in the Washington Post that he had spent $9.1 million on his campaign so far. And what you think that means for your own campaign and also the effects that that could have on future campaigns in this country? Uh, the Washington Post just reported that the 8th Congressional District race is probably going to be the most expensive congressional race in history. And um, for me, I think the way you run and win a congressional race is you get in early, as I did 10 months ago. Uh, you meet as many voters as you can. You have as many volunteers as you can. We now have 500 volunteers working for our campaign. And you reach out broadly to raise money according to the rules that we have in place. And I've been able to raise um, a, a good amount of money to run this campaign and get my message out. And I've done it by reaching out to more than 10,000 contributions. And uh, most of those are under $100, 80%. And at least half of them are from women who oftentimes are not donors. And I think that that's the way you run a grassroots campaign and you do it uh, in terms of having very broad funding so that you're not beholden to anybody, but you're listening to everyone. Uh, there has been an independent commission poll in this race so far. Um, how does your campaign feel with less than two weeks to go till the primary about your chances to win? We have two weeks to go and we're taking nothing for granted. We've been lucky in terms of um, fundraising to get our message out, but also uh, how many doors we've knocked on. We have reached out now to um, 500,000 people either by phone or knocking on doors. We've made identified our voters and we know that identifying more voters but also getting the vote out on election day is going to be the way that we're going to be able to win this race.